the accounting equation. Uh, this is a review of some of the key elements of the accounting equation and also to help you see the full extent of the accounting equation and to recognise where the use of the accounting equation is appropriate. Sometimes the most significant thing about the accounting equation is to recognise its power. So we'll start with the very basics. The accounting equation is assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. And we do know that assets have a normal balance of a debit and both liabilities and owner's equity have a normal balance of a credit. First thing we can do with the accounting equation is reorganise it. Assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. But we could rearrange this by doing the same thing to both sides. So, for instance, we could deduct liabilities from each side. And so then we'd have, instead of liabilities plus owner's equity, we would just have owner's equity, because we've deducted liabilities. And then we would have assets minus liabilities, because we've deducted liabilities from that side. So assets minus liabilities equals owner's equity. That's just one way we could reorganise the accounting equation. You should practice other ways. Now let's see the accounting equation in action with some numbers. Assets equals 200. Uh, sorry, assets equals 22,000. Uh, liabilities equals 1,000. Calculate the owner's equity. So we know assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. So we know that $2,000 equals 1,000 plus owner's equity. We can deduct 1,000 from each side. And therefore $1,000 equals owner's equity. Our owner's equity is $1,000. Let's have a look at something just a little more challenging. We're given the information that assets equals $500 and liabilities are $200. And now we're provided with some other information. Owner's equity increases by 100% and liabilities increase by 20%. Calculate the assets. Well, you may say, I don't know what owner's equity is. But you do. Well, at least you can work it out quite quickly. $500 equals 200 plus owner's equity, i.e. assets of 500 equals liabilities 200 plus owner's equity. We can deduct $200 from each side and we end up with 300 equals owner's equity. So owner's equity equals 300. We're now told owner's equity increases by 100%. 100% of uh, 300 is 300. So owner's equity is, becomes 300 plus 300. So owner's equity is 600. Liabilities increase by 20%. Liabilities increase by 20% of 200, 20% of 200 is 40, so liabilities become 200 plus 40, which is 240. Now we see the accounting equation it is assets equals new liabilities of 600, sorry, assets, I've written those in not the right order, it's assets, I've written it assets equals owner's equity plus liabilities, which is the same equation, just rearrange, assets equals 600 plus 240, therefore assets equals 840. Now, let's look at some other things you can do with the accounting equation. And especially doing it when we incorporate normal balances. So here's a question for you. You go to the income section of your worksheet and the total of your debits column. Let me rephrase that. You go to the uh, income statement or the revenue statement section of your worksheet. And the total of the debits is 500 and the total of the credits is 400. So what is the profit or loss of this business? Well, you know they're all um, income or expense items or revenue or expense items. And we know that debits are expenses and credits are revenues. So expenses exceed revenues by $100. Therefore, the business has made a loss of $100. Again, using the accounting equation. Now, let's do an easy question with the accounting equation that first off looks hard. And you might be given something that says calculate the debt ratio using the following data. So first thing you need to know is what is the debt ratio. And the debt ratio is what percentage of the assets are funded by debt. How do we work this out? Well, it's our liabilities divided by our total assets. That's the debt ratio. So now we need to work out well, what are our liabilities and what are our total assets. Nothing else is relevant. Not our net sales, not our cost of sales, not even current liabilities unless you can use it in some way to calculate total liabilities. So what are we given? We're given total assets 
and we're given shareholders equity, so we're given assets, we're given equity, so we can work out liabilities. So total assets are 200,000. So 200,000 equals liabilities plus 150,000. So we know that our liabilities are 50,000. Let's go to the next page where I've done this calculation. So the easy question that looks hard, find what is relevant. The debt ratio is total liabilities over total assets. Our total assets are 200,000. Our shareholders equity is 150,000. Therefore, our liabilities are 50,000. The debt ratio, I've got two mistakes in the uh, bottom line. That should be the debt ratio, not the debt ration, but the debt ratio therefore becomes total liabilities, 50,000, over total assets, and that's 200,000, and that equals 25%. Now, what's the next step? The next step I won't go into now, but it's a, a more complex level again, and it's about obtaining a list of accounts and their balances and working out a trial balance. Where should you go to do this? Download the Test Your Knowledge Worksheet, and the very first exercise is called AE, Accounting Equation. And it is an exercise to do that for you. Good luck.